Now, the NCAA tournament, as you might imagine, is an economic slam dunk for Philadelphia as the city bounces back from the pandemic. Eyewitness News reporter Carrie Corrado is at the Wells Fargo Center tonight in South Philly. Carrie? Yuki, good evening. You have to love this March madness. The Wells Fargo Center, the big stage tonight. Bars and restaurants, they are benefiting from this rush, and they say they are ready for it. Fans fired up in Philadelphia for March Madness. The energy and spirit are contagious in the city. Definitely geared up for this weekend because we knew thousands of people are coming to Philadelphia. Christopher Mullins owns Philadelphia's oldest bar, McGillan's Old Al House. He says this is one of the best weekends they had since 2019. He even hung the St. Peter's Peacock flag next to beloved Villanova. We love the Peacock flag here. It's amazing. Long time in coming. They haven't been in a game like this since 1968 in the garden when they beat Duke. And we're down here to see another big victory. It's just fun to see some of the, the other alumni from uh, St. Peter's and yeah, it's, 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 it feels like we're home. Very exciting for them to be in Philadelphia and see a bar that is supporting the underdog. Over at Victory Brewing Company, they too are thrilled to see the city come to life. We're, we're loving it too because it drives in a lot of extra traffic for us. The whole goal is to have as many people that aren't actually at the game in Philadelphia uh, here in the tap room, enjoying all the food and uh, hospitality. General Manager Connor Martin says they were ready for the NCAA rush. Our staff has been trained since we opened last October to be really good at handling high volume. The big dance bringing a big, much needed boost to the city. Having the Sweet 16 here in Philly has been awesome so far. Uh, lots of fans are coming in to visit the city, which is what we uh, desperately need. So the fun is far from over. Many fans tell us they will be staying in Philadelphia for the weekend, especially those Peacock fans. They say they're going to continue to keep the celebration going. We're live outside of the Wells Fargo Center tonight. Carrie Corrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Big win tonight. Welcome to all. Carrie, thank you. Eyewitness News will be with Villanova every step of the way. You can always find the latest news from the Wildcats at cbsphilly.com slash March Madness.